Today I'm going to be showing you how I want you to organize your folders for the class for the rest of the year. The first step I want you to take is go ahead and go to Google Drive. This is just an example of the way mine works right now. So first you're going to go to New, in the top left, that plus button, click New. You're going to make a new folder. Now some of you already emailed me over the summer asking me about submitting work. That's fantastic. Um, so if you've already made a folder, um, you can just start with the folder that you already have. Um, we're going to be making some subfolders in that. So the first thing I want you to do, if you're in AP Drawing, just simply put AP Draw. It doesn't have to be all caps. And then put your name. So first name, last name. If you are in AP 2D Design, it's going to be the same thing, but it's just going to say AP 2D and then put first name, last name. This way, if I have four of you in AP2D Design, when I go to look at your folder, I'll see, oh wait, but this is first name, last names, AP2D Design folder. All right, so just click Create. Um, if you already created that folder, um, just right click it and click Rename, and then just add your first name, last name. All right, in that folder, you're gonna double click it to open it up going to make some new folders inside of it. So we're going to go back to new in the top left, click folder. First one's going to be breadth. And that's your variety, your range of skills section. Another new folder going to be concentration, where you have one kind of theme or idea that you explore throughout 12 artworks. Click new again folder again. Quality. You don't need to worry about quality right now, but it helps to have the folder made. So if you do decide there's something that you know you want to put in quality, it just kind of helps with some organization towards the end of the year, which I promise you, the more we can get done now, the easier it'll be for you once it comes submission time. This last year was really easy with submission um, since we followed this organization, so um, it might be a little bit of setup at first, but it's worth it. All right, so we have breadth, concentration, and quality. Another folder. Visual journals. This is basically like your sketchbook, um, but it's really important to keep track of these and have photos of it in here. We actually had one student last year who, um, she had a whole concentration of work that she made, and we both agreed it just wasn't strong at all we actually ended up using 12 of her visual journals to completely replace her concentration, and she passed, so please keep in mind, visual journals are important. All right, last one that folder you're going to put in is going to be works for consideration. And this isn't necessarily one that we're submitting to the college board, but if you have any past work you created in high school, you can put it in here and we will consider it for adding to your portfolio later on. So if you're a few projects shy or if you feel like there was one project you did that was really poor quality and you were kind of worried about it, have a bank of projects that you've done in the past ready to go in that works for consideration file. Once again, it'll help you when it comes to submission time. Once you've uploaded all of these folders, I'm sorry, created all of these folders under the umbrella of your AP folder that you made, I need you to go to that AP folder and get shareable link. It might say link sharing is off. Please turn that on. It should say anyone at St. Joseph Academy with the link can view. You're going to copy that link and then when you get into classroom you'll see the assignment for homework it'll say summer project submission procedure okay so this is the video that you're watching right now you should have followed the directions along with me for organizing your folders when completed attach the link to your AP folder and submit it to this assignment.